Hi there, this is Dr. Mark Wireman, and this is going to be a brief video on the reflexes. There's three reflexes we're going to go over. The stretch reflex, the flexor withdrawal, and the crossed extensor reflex. Now the stretch reflex uh, we're going to go over first. So what we have over here is we have the spinal cord, we have our quadriceps muscle, we have a patellar tendon, or patella, and then we have our foot. So hopefully that helps to orient to you. And out of our spinal cord, we do have some spinal nerves. And there's an on or off ramp, basically, to get in and out of the spinal cord. Now, in the quadriceps, we also have a receptor, or many receptors, called muscle spindles. Okay, the muscle spindles, they're found in the muscle, and their number one job is to prevent uh, muscle tears. So if a muscle is stretching too much, it's going to tell the muscle to contract. And so that way it won't tear. And so to check this stretch reflex is you just got to take a patella or a reflex hammer and hit your patellar tendon. When you hit your patellar tendon, it causes a stretch on the tendon, which causes a stretch on your quadriceps muscle. And now your muscle spindles are going to freak out. They're going to send a signal on a sensory neuron through the back door, the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. And it's going to synapse with a neuron in the front. And this neuron in the front is going to be a motor fiber. And so the muscle spindle sends a signal along the sensory afferent sig uh, neuron, which in turn will send an action potential along the motor efferent, and it'll tell the quadriceps muscle to contract. And the number one job of the quadriceps muscle is lower leg extension. So you will see the foot kick. That is a stretch reflex. Okay, the next reflex I want to talk about is the flexor withdrawal reflex. So once again, let's draw our spinal nerve, the on and off ramps, and we'll make it 3D. Now in this flexor withdrawal reflex, we're going to talk about the quadriceps muscle again and the hamstrings. So the number one job of the quadriceps is extension. Number one job of the hamstrings is flexion of the lower leg. And the initial stimulus that starts this flexor withdrawal reflex is a pain signal. So let's say we step on a tack. We step on a tack no susceptors are going to pick up that pain sensation and they're going to send a signal through the back door of the dorsal horn and it's going to synapse with these neurons. And these neurons are called interneurons or association neurons. And they're kind of like the middlemen, like the mailman, basically and just rerouting the mail or rerouting the action potentials. And this is going to reroute the signal to, to, to the motor efferent signals that go to your quadriceps and your hamstrings. Now you want to get this leg off of that pain signal. So you're going to tell the hamstrings to contract. So you're sending an excitatory or stimulatory um, action potential to the hamstrings. And when it flexes your leg, it actually pulls it off the pain. So we, we want that to happen really quickly, so you're going to inhibit the quadriceps muscles at the same time. Because if you contracted the quadriceps muscle, you would actually push down on the pain, and that's not what you want. So that is a flexor withdrawal reflex. You tell the flexor muscle to go, 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 and the extensor muscle to no, 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 basically. Now we have the last, the last uh, reflex called the crossed extensor reflex. To understand the cross re extensor reflex, you just have to brush up on the flexor reflex because half of it is the flexor reflex. So there's your spinal nerve on one side at the spinal cord level, and here's the spinal nerve at the same level on the other side. So we're going to talk about the quadriceps muscle on this side and the hamstrings, and then we're going to talk about the quadriceps muscle on the other side and the hamstrings on the other side of the body. But there is a fancy word which means other side. That's contralateral. So this is going to be the contralateral side. 
which reminds me that there's a kind of a fancier word which means the same side, which means ipsilateral. So ipsilateral means same side, contralateral means other side. So the cross extensor reflex occurs in the lower extremity. So once again, we step on attack. That is your pain signal. That's what's going to start this, this reflex. You need to get your leg off of that pain signal. So you send a signal along a sensory afferent fiber, and you're going to go through the dorsal horn, and you're going to synapse to your interneurons. So it's very similar to the flexor reflex. You send a signal up to the front to your motor efferent signals, and you're going to tell your quadriceps to no, 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 basically don't contract. But you're going to tell your hamstrings to go, 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 and contract, and you're going to lift your leg off of the pain signal. So now we're going to get into the crossed extensor part of the reflex. I mean, all of this is cross extensor reflex, but this is basically just a flexor withdrawal on the side. But why we have a cross extensor reflex is because if we lift this leg up off of our pain, we're going to fall down and we don't want to fall down. So we need to send the signal, the sensory signal, to the other side. So to the contralateral side. And we're going to be talking to the motor efferent fibers that go over to the other leg. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell the quadriceps on the contralateral side to contract, or basically go, go, go. And you're going to tell the hamstrings on the contralateral side to no, 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 or don't contract. And so if the quadriceps are contracting, what you're going to do is you're going to extend the lower leg and you're going to stomp the leg down, which is perfect because on the ipsilateral side or the side of the pain, you lift the leg up and then you shift your weight and you slam the contralateral leg down so that way you don't fall down. So that is the crossed extensor reflex. Thank you.